<laughs> Alright, um, I have nothing that I want to do before our uh, rest action, so you guys... Indeed. Um, I also uh, skip do wait ahead. for the whole speed. Nalgar orders uh, beer. Ale. Thingy. Ale. Do you want the ale for humans and the like? Or the ill for dwarves and the like. I just do the humans and the like. I look at the ale and I just go, no thanks. And I just, I just want to drink. <laughs> to to they charge you five copper per drink for that particular ale. Okay. <laughs> Gangster. <laughs> and Malga drowns it again. Drinks it, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can drink it. It tastes like this. pee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you fill it in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a uh, it's in for you know labors and, and the like. They're it's all no sausage. Rough, that's for rough. sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, I assume you're all at the end now, except yeah. for Anna. Table. I want to ask the innkeeper about a room. Um, I just want to head straight to the um, sleep because I'm I'm still feeling hungover from my lost um, lost battle against that other guy in that drinking competition. We have two bedrooms or four bedrooms. Uh, I kind of look towards the team. How, how many beds in each bedroom? Two or four. Four. Two, two or four, four beds. Yeah, there's like bedrooms with two beds and bedrooms with four beds. All right. Okay. Um, I'll just, I'll just get a room uh, with two beds. All right. Uh, that's ten silver a night. I pay ten silver. Cool. And I take take the key. Do, is it a key or is it all unlocked and stuff? <laughs> they give you a key. Yes. Right. <laughs> I just I just head up uh, to the room. Like a rusty, non-fancy. Yeah. yeah, it like creaks and is like it's. Yeah, it, I just... mean it, it's it's a true in for laborers, right? They're not like yeah. fancy rooms and stuff. It's like the basic necessities and. Yeah. <laughs> Magical pin. <laughs> okay, right, and I take off my armor just so that doesn't kick me in the bus. <laughs> You don't. You can't stand up anymore. Yeah. You wake so, up. Yeah. So I'm just. I'm just basically getting ready for bed. Oosh, I'm out. Harkon is to bed. Do you close the door behind you? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I I follow him in as he does this, and I am <laughs> gonna just go ahead and go to sleep as well. It's a two bed. Yep. Room. Yep. Yeah. Two okay. bed. Yeah. Totally normal I, I kind activity. Of, yeah. I kind of like as he enters. I kind of like just. Kind of like lazily greeting because I'm that tired. I'm just kind of once on me. I was just slump on the on the bed and just zonk out. <sighs> yeah, I, I use the sheet to wipe the the massing drool off my chin. And <laughs> as you use the sleep. sheet to wipe your chin, you notice your chin gets sand on it and everything. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> Uh, whatever. I'm out. I'm asleep. <laughs> Done. It's not the cleanest place in all of uh, whatever this world is called. I don't even know yet. Well, I, I, guess I, I doubt that sand is the you. dirtiest thing in all of this land. <laughs> no, it, it's not that. It's, you know. But it's not clean. <laughs> all I'm saying. Hakan doesn't care. He's asleep. He's snoring. Rather loudly. Waking half the in again. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> so what are uh, the awake party members doing that are not in a stable negotiation? Juhani is waiting with the horses. Cool. And like, Belgar is just drinking? Yeah. 
I am. I think I'm on my way back again. Yeah, eventually Anna returns. If they're just waiting, we're skipping, of course. Okay. Anna comes out walking with. Uh, she's bought a lot of uh, horse feet, but she's gone with two ready for the horses. The rest is in her inventory. <laughs> but here you go. Now they have some proper food. Let's feed the horses because she sees Johanny there, of course. And we feed the horses. And we feed the horses. You have fed the horses. Oh, they have been fed. They're, um, they're like very <laughs> like, oh my god, food. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're gonna live. <laughs> we secure the horses before entering the end. Excellent. <laughs> In such a fashion that they shall not run away on their own. Gianni is, Gianni is like, we're going to do everything very carefully because <laughs> this DM likes to screw with us when shit goes wrong. <laughs> we do not pick up any strange books. <laughs> <laughs> do we do not get cursed. Do Gianni and Anna share a room again? I think they do. Gianni <laughs> pays. It's 10 silver, I believe. For two beds. So that would leave you with one bed short. Melga can figure that out on their own. <laughs> Melga's drinking. <laughs> Melga's drinking. He does not need a bed yet. So, <laughs> since everyone else of the party is sleeping, Melgar, <laughs> what does your night look like? <laughs> Loads of drinking. <laughs> since it's human piss water beer, you all you don't need to roll a you don't need to roll a constitution check. I suppose um, if it was a norm, if it was like now times, she'd wake up and there'd be like loads of selfies on the phone with like loads of drunken people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gav, you know, like, uh. do, do you drink on your own or do you try to socialize with others? I try to socialize with others. Ooh. Trying to find information about the legendary blacksmiths. I see. You shall roll a streetwise check with a plus three bonus. Because you're like everyone is in a good mood and Oh, you know what? We didn't even check if they were innocent before we went to sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> Suddenly stand face to face with <laughs> I'm just like I'm just going back. <laughs> I wanted to save the horses. Yeah. No, that's very true. There you go. <gasps> You speak to a few people, and uh, they're not really like letting lose anything of interest until you finally speak to a member of the Red Shield who is quite drunk. You see, he's uh, he's drinking the ale that the innkeeper has pointed was the dwarven ale, and he's drunk quite a few. You see, like five or six uh, mugs on the table, and he's sitting on his own. So you're like, oh god. That's quite a lot. And uh, in his half-drunken stupor, he tells you that he has seen the legendary blacksmith. I've actually spoken to them. They were not as legendary as you would think. I mean, yeah, sure, there's this dwarf and this human. And they do a lot of black sh black smith good stuff. <laughs> but you know... I've just spoken to them. They're good folk. They're normal folk. I don't know. I don't know why we had to take him, but yeah, you know, we just we we locked him up good as as we were told, and you know, they're safely tucked away now somewhere in the city, and yeah, so I don't know why, but they were good folk. But you know commands from up above and all that stuff politics <laughs> you know it's it's all very 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 oblivious ob ob and obtrusive and all that you know so but yeah good folk good folk i spoke to them before we locked them up they were very kind when we locked them up <laughs> they they didn't complain about them locking us up <laughs> they, <laughs> they were very very kind and so yeah that i i haven't spoken to them since i haven't spoken seen them you know my shift's over i went here i drank some with the laborers i know i know a few blacksmiths 
I know a goldsmith who's a friend of mine. He's around here somewhere. He's the best goldsmith you'll ever see. I, I, oh man, it, he's so good. You, you don't want to know. If you have any requests for, the, for goldsmith, oh man, you, you gotta talk to him, man. He's good. He's good. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. That's that's the tale of the blacksmiths. There, there's some somewhere, some somewhere in the in, in here or something, you know, somewhere in this town. I I'm not I'm not supposed to disclose the location nor tell you that they were locked up. But there you are. Let's see. Oh my. Yeah. So you want another drink? Yeah, sure. I'm I'm buy I'm buying you the dwarven ale. I'm buying you the dwarven ale. Just cause you're my friend. Okay, thank you. And he like <laughs> he shoves two mugs and he shoves them both in your hand. He's like, there you go. Have fun. It's it's really good ale. Try try to try to drink it. Try to drink it. It's really good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> At this point. Um, Mugga just takes one and drowns it. In one gulp. Now you need to <laughs> <laughs> And you pass out having learned nothing. <laughs> You've gotten a lot of information actually. <laughs> Haven't learned nothing. Uh, you... <laughs> <laughs> That's an endurance check, right? Yes. Yes it is. Roll the endurance. Ouch. Ooh, you're looking a bit tipsy there, mate. I don't know about <laughs> drinking that second one, though. Let me take it from you and drink it. And he, like, gulps it down, and you're like, he's like, You know, that wasn't the smartest of ideas. Thank you, good sir. He passes out. <laughs> <laughs> really Malga goes to the... To the innkeeper, rents a room for the night with two beds, takes the guard upstairs, I saw <laughs> and goes to bed I and locks know. the door. Um, take a s all right, so it's ten silver for the room, yeah. and you need to pass two strength checks because he passed out in full plate armor. So if yeah. you want to drag him upstairs, <laughs> you'll need to pass two strength checks one to get him upstairs, and the second one to get him into the bed. I suppose it's a nice thing to do, though. He bought you a couple of drinks. Yeah, it's definitely a nice thing to do. But he's he passed out in full plate and full armament. He's quite heavy. He falls down the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even get him to the stairs. <laughs> you you get him to in front of the stairs, and then your your arm like sprains a muscle or something, and <laughs> you drop him, and it's like, oh god, this is too heavy. What do you do? This Let's do it again. This sounds like a point and click adventure. But you, know, <laughs> you can only try it once more before your muscle is like. Get some yeah. help! Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I um, ask um, random in the end whoever wants to help me carry this poor dude upstairs to work. This poor dude. Uh, My room. You'll you'll have to roll diplomacy for that one. Oh, why are you guys are yeah, because they're all looking pretty suspicious at you. Why, why and more you... like pretty suspicious at the dude on the floor. Yeah. You guys are at it. I'm going to roll my dog real quick. I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh, and when the morning comes, Anna I will wake up with the drools. So just so you know. Don't leave yeah. her. <laughs> Leave her. She'll snap out of it. I will be as back, back as fast as I can. Okay, cool. So you guys, go get them. See you soon. Be right back. In case of fighting, I'm going to give the DM my chair to sheep. I don't think there will be fighting anytime soon. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> or any other skills. I I, mean, I think if uh, Melga wants to fight now, all she has to do is I do a coup de gras <laughs> because my <laughs> my target is incapacitated. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was my diplomacy role. Oh, yeah, you uh, you find two people to help you. 
Uh, roll a new strength check with a plus five. <clears throat> roll thing. Roll one, your arm breaks. <laughs> yeah. Well, not that severe, but... That's gonna hurt. Ah, uh, yeah. Plus yeah. what? Plus five. Plus five. So your strength modifier and then another plus five. Two digits guaranteed. Ah, uh, they managed to get him up like a few flights, but that's <laughs> about it. And then, like, still... Well, he's he's way too heavy. We'll we'll leave him here and <laughs> ride on the stairs as they go back to their drinks. <laughs> he's now lying on the at the start of the stairs. <laughs> Does he look at, at peace though? Uh, um, <laughs> he looks spaced out. <laughs> yeah. At least he doesn't feel any pain. So. Yeah. You should know how dangerous it is to pass out in full plate, though. Drunk people never feel pain, man. It's fa I, I, it's miraculous. I've seen drunk people fall like in really painful ways, and they just stand up and they like go on their go about their business. It's good. fascinating. Just a flesh. Yeah, it's really fascinating how they don't feel any pain. Good but yeah, he, he lies at the start of the stairs, basically. Yay. Still want him in my room, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. How are you going to get this? A <laughs> winch. <laughs> <laughs> Standard adventures pack, 50 uh, feet of rope. There yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Poor dude's like, <laughs> just me. Will, it, will I get pluses if I buy my, um, bind my rope around him and then try to haul him from upstairs? Ah, uh, yeah, that's how they hold stuff in ancient times, so I guess you'll get a plus two or something. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> you do have a chance your rope snaps, though. Yeah, that's fine anyway. I'll roll a rope snap. <laughs> Is this like... The rope rolling an endurance check? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> basically. But it passed, so you still have the rope. What, whether it fails or succeeds. Okay, then I'll pull. Ooh, Ooh you get him up the <laughs> stairs in front of the bedroom door. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can it get a bit quieter over there? <laughs> Take it to a room. <laughs> I can just imagine like his helmet like hitting each <laughs> stair <laughs> as you drag the Yep. Dink. Bang. Well he didn't have a helmet on. Dink. But the armor is like dink, dink, dink. I mean he's full plated otherwise, so it is a beautiful sound. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I'll uh, try to haul him from um, yeah. yeah, you can't pull the... him with the rope into the bed. That's, no. <laughs> that's got to be a regular strength check. I'll you better just hope do he doesn't wake up at mid when you've got rope around him in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no. Oh, man. Oh, wow. This recap will be hilarious. Oh, this is going. Oh, man. Melga takes the rope off the guy first and then tries to haul it him into the bed by himself. Okay, yeah, that's just a regular strength check. Why do I suck without bonuses? You get him in front of the bed. Oh well, I'll just lock the door and then go to bed myself. Okay. Where do you leave the key? I would have tried to, like, get him out of the plate armor at least. No, 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 but then he can run. No, 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 no. He can't run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tie him down first. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> this is going somewhere. 
Yes, I will tie him down. And then I'll go to bed. All right. I'm so glad he's still able to scream for help. Tie him down. <laughs> All right, the dawn approaches. Like, think about that. You, you're you drunk in plate armor, so, like, you already have a hard time getting up. You drink so much that you pass out. When you wake up, you're either going to need to, like, vomit or go to the bathroom. But he's tied down, too. Yeah. Inside his plate armor. He's going to be so yep. upset in the morning. Oh. Yep. Never drink with mummies, kids. Never drink with mummies. <laughs> Never drink with mummies. Never drink in general, I would say. Oh. Never drink during LARP events in full armor. <laughs> oh, Chris. Hey, Chris. What's up, man? Welcome to the crew. I just saw the follower alert. All right, so oh, man. Dawn approaches. Who wakes up first? I can't Johanny doesn't need a long night, so. All right, so Johanny wakes up first. You wake does, up. Back in point she... click mode, what do you do? <laughs> Put on clothes. Good thinking. Which he took off because nobody sleeps in armor, right? Nobody, except for the guard at this point. <laughs> because he doesn't have a choice. And how does... just once. Is uh, is uh, the paladin already in drool mode? Yes. Yay. Characters enter drool mode as soon as the player leaves, so... So basically the entire pillow is wet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Wet sand. Yeah, and since there were, was no question, she drooled from both ends of the mouth. For double wetness, yes. For double drool, <laughs> yeah. Um... I, I I will. Uh... How possible does it look to me to put on plate armor on someone who is not participating? Uh, what? What? Did, how long does it take you? No, how difficult does it look? Oh, any character can do it. All right. It's under common skills. Everyone can do it. It takes you, I believe, an hour. An hour? Oh wow. Yeah. Because skill is half an hour. So plate must be around an hour, yeah. Well, does does the drool not act as like some kind of lubricant speeding the process? <laughs> no. <laughs> if anything, it it uh, makes the process even more difficult because the person where you're putting the armor on isn't helping, you know, putting arms up and stuff like that. So, but I would I will give you the hour. Johanny rolls her eyes. Sits up the paladin, cleans her face, and starts putting on her armor. All right, you're busy for an hour. Who wakes up next? <laughs> Hakon's still snoring. Roy? Well, someone has to wake up. <laughs> okay. Hakon, I mean, if you only need an hour, right? Well, all right. The hour passes with no one waking up. You, The armor is on. What's next? Did, did you want to wake up, Dwarf? Yeah, I'm waking up now. Okay. Yeah, waking up. So I, I want to start putting on my armor and stuff like that, and kind of like look, look. I look um Roy you have scale, over. So that's half an hour. Okay, I look Roy over as I get ready, just checking he's okay. Not in a weird way, but just in a kind of you know like friendly. <laughs> all right, you're all right. As uh, Hakan finishes getting his armor on, I just kind of open my eyes and sit up as if I was just waiting there for him to be ready, I'm not actually sleeping. Ooh. Ooh. I have to look something up, I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. No, you guys go on. Does, um, do Saliva I see kind of... as lubricant, Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you can sleep in cloth armor, that's fine. Yeah, just had to check whether you had to sleep at all, I'm sorry. Like Go me on. as a character, or yes, uh, Nox. If you sleep in your armor, it it kind of you get very stiff basically um, in the morning because you obviously oh. if you sleep in plate mail armor. It's not going to be good for you. Yeah, it's a it's a rule that I didn't know that when I first started playing a little while ago. 
It, it's a rule I I like. I heard that basically the rule is you cannot sleep in armor because it's too uncomfortable to sleep in. But I changed it to you can sleep in it, but it will be uncomfortable after. So the official rule is you can't even sleep in it. But I I thought this was funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, time out. Can you guys hear that? Can nope. you hear my dog barking? Nope. No right. dog barking. Awesome. I'm gonna go see what she wants, but it'll be like two minutes. Yeah, sure. So I'll but just, I'll just follow. We'll ha we'll have to like play it a bit slower until Anna comes back anyway. So. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll just non drooling, just following. Yep. Pecan. Yep. You don't want to drool anymore. Nope. <laughs> not in the least. <laughs> you drooled enough for two episodes. <laughs> oh yeah, indeed. Okay. So Harkon's ready, he kind of stretches and he heads outside. Um, I assume um, Kyle's character just um, really yeah, follows me. So. Yeah, so I'll head downstairs and grab a bite to eat. How much is that? Two silver. Okay, I buy two of them for me and Roy. That's for drinks and food. Yeah, but non-alcoholic drinks. Yeah, it's it's like really standard grub, you know. Okay. Did you say then five silver? Go on. Two silver. Two silver, okay. <laughs> It's like really standard grub, okay. and you get um, a glass of water with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we sit down and we just start eating. The ladies also come downstairs. Okay. I wait. And order the same for you know, and sit down next to them. And... Juhani nods over to uh, the paladin and says, "Yep." <laughs> How did Anna paladin Jules... come down? Hmm? How did the paladin come down? Being led by Johanny. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is... Being a bit careful with the stairs. Yep, yep. I, I look That's up tough. at Anna and shake my head. I go, oh, no, not the drills. <laughs> it's going around. Yeah, it must be. It might be you next, Johanny. Where's Melgar? I kind of look around for the missing party member. Um, and I, look, I shout to the barkeep. Oh, the innkeeper. Um, the other one that was with us. Have you seen her? Oh, hit him. Uh, no. He, she, it must still be upstairs. Oh, so, so they went to bed then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, she, it tried to drag a red shield member with her into the, her, it, whatever, into the room. Uh, what? I <laughs> kind of looks a bit weird I, I don't know what happened there. And frankly, I don't want to know. <laughs> What room? Uh, I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> um, how much? This is my friend. I just want to check everything's okay. Uh, yeah, that's what the assassin said when he tried to kill the customer in my inn last month. This is my friend. <laughs> want to check on him. Okay, uh, can I roll a diplomacy check? All right. Just trying, uh, let me just check my... <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy, diplomacy. Innkeepers doling out information to assassins and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's my friend, I want to check on him. Yeah, here's the key. Okay, so I say, come on. <laughs> no, sir. Uh... Sorry, <laughs> rules. Okay. Um, I say, uh, how much would it cost for me just to give out <laughs> <laughs> the room number? Just to, I just want to check my friends, okay? My new friend. How much does it cost? <laughs> hmm. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, everyone's leaving. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still sleeping anyway, so... Yeah. Juhani is now standing uh, behind the dwarf. <laughs> everyone suddenly needs to... Possibly go. surprising him if he did not see her coming, which he didn't. Oh, oh hi, Juhani. <laughs> <laughs> she puts uh, her hand on his shoulder and says, leave it be. Leave it be? Okay. Yeah. And I sit back down. And uh, she looks at the three, one of them drooling at the table, nods and uh, goes back upstairs. You go back upstairs. I would like to roll perception for marks of somebody in plate armor being dragged across the floor. That would be perception, yeah. 
So to hopefully determine the right door. If you roll high enough, you could. <laughs> 